When we look at the universe, there's no particular reason to believe we are getting a complete uh, image of what's actually there. We've had some surprises. We've discovered that there's not just atoms, but there's a lot of stuff in the universe which isn't made of atoms at all. Dark matter. The first evidence for dark matter, in fact, goes back to the 1930s, long before I was born. Galaxies rotate, and at their outer edges, the stars are traveling at phenomenal speeds. The only force holding those outer stars to the rest of the galaxy is the combined gravitational pull of all the atoms in the stars at its center. But when astronomers calculated the amount of gravity required to prevent those stars from flying off into space, they discovered that there simply wasn't enough matter in the galaxy to hold the outer stars in place. Something was very wrong. By measuring, for example, the speed with which stars go round and round the centers of galaxies, like our own Milky Way, the stars go round too fast. And unless there is some gravitational confining force, some sort of uh, invisible glue keeping the stars together, the galaxies would have just dissolved. It was already realized then that some clusters of galaxies, galaxies moving around, would have thrown apart had they not been held together by a gravitational pull of something more than we saw. So that was the first intimation of dark matter. But for many astronomers, the idea that there could exist in our universe a type of matter made from something other than atoms was just too strange to contemplate. People didn't want to think that the universe was full of dark stuff that we couldn't study. And after all, justifying a huge investment in a telescope uh, requires telling the funding agencies we're going to discover what the universe is made of. People were telling you, look, your telescopes only see a little bit of what is there, are not necessarily popular. So partly for that reason, and partly because there was no theory as to what the dark matter could be, that idea lay dormant. Uh, it was a niggling thought in the back of people's minds until the 1970s, when more uh, direct and compelling, more than evidence for dark matter was acquired, and then it was just staring us in the face. We couldn't ignore it anymore. And when they calculated the amount of dark matter in the universe, astronomers were even more surprised. This mysterious material made up the majority of the universe, nearly 85% of it. The realization that most of the mass in the universe is dark matter has come as a big shock to the community. And we have no idea what it is. Unlike ordinary matter that we understand and we know and love, we know how well to make it and we know its composition. We know relatively little about dark matter. The actual nature of the dark matter is a mystery. There are lots of candidates which could exist in the early universe, in the Big Bang, in the first microsecond. And if they are still around now, they will be candidates for the dark matter. It's sort of a wacky idea. It sounds sort of frivolous to invent something which you can't see, can't touch, to say that it nonetheless exists. So far, we only know that they exist because of the gravitational pull. A very interesting question to me is, is the universe more complicated than it needs to be to have us here? In other words, is there anything in the universe which is just here to amuse physicists? It's happened again and again that there was something which seemed like it was just a frivolity like that, where later we've realized that, in fact, no, if it weren't for that little thing, we wouldn't be here.
I'm not convinced, actually, that we have anything in this universe which is completely unnecessary to life. Whereas dark matter shocked scientists by revealing that most of the substance of the universe was invisible, now they had discovered that empty space possessed an inexplicable energy. If you imagine taking a volume of space, removing from it all the atoms, all the energy, all the magnetic and electric forces, etc., you might think you end up with zero. But it looks as though you don't end up with something which is exactly zero. There is still something there. That something exerts a force which seems to be the opposite of the force exerted by normal gravity. It's a force which seems to cause things to disappear away from each other rather than be attracted towards each other. Why empty space itself should be more than just nothingness and have these complicated properties is indeed a very deep mystery. They named the source of this mysterious expansion dark energy. It sounds like you know what it is if you call it, if you give it a name, if you call it dark energy. But in fact, if you talk to almost any scientist today, um, they would say they've got no idea what dark energy is. Cosmologists are also unsure of the role dark energy will play in the future of the universe. It could make the universe expand forever, pushing everything apart to its destruction. What started with a Big Bang may end with a Big Rip.